Okay, we just looked at uh, sines and cosines of complementary angles. What can we say about the tangent uh, of tan the tangent of complementary angles? Well, mm, let's try that one. Uh, let's try again. What can we say about the tangent of complementary angles? Let's draw that there. There's theta. That's 90 minus theta. That's a right angle there. We know that the tan of theta equals x, y, z, let's say, equals the opposite over adjacent. The opposite angle is x, the opposite side is x, and the adjacent one is y. Now I'm going to flip that triangle over because I'm going to look at this angle here. And I'm going to draw it in standard form as well. This is 90 minus theta. There's my right angle. This y here is this y here. That z is still that z there. And that x is that x there. So we know that tan of 90 minus theta equals opposite over adjacent for its opposite and adjacent, which is y over x. Aha. So look, these two symbols here that one and that one, they're just reciprocals of each other. So what that tells me is that tan theta equals 1 over the tangent of 90 minus theta. There you go. That's quite nice, isn't it? I guess you could express that slightly differently. You might say that tan theta times tan 90 minus theta equals 1, just by taking this up there. Well, that's, that's another nice thing, and uh, I'll uh, use that ne in the next one. All right, I'm going to stop there.